here you can see the flame rod. Now you can't see actually the flame rod going into the flame, but it's just a piece of stainless steel wire that goes into the flame. And this is a connection for it here. It has to signal the board that the flame has actually come on and has to prove it's come on to allow the gas valve to stay on. Okay, so now we're gonna fire this thing up and I'm gonna remove the wire from the flame rod. And we're actually gonna get the same thing that happened when the hot surface igniter didn't come on. Yeah. Here we're seeing the hot surface igniter warming up. Now note I've got the wire off flame rod. Burners came on. Okay, trial for ignition failed because the board did not see that the flame was established. It was established, but the board didn't see it simply because I had disconnected the wire. Okay, it's going to go through the same sequence as it did when the hot surface igniter wasn't connected up. Okay, here I've connected the flame rod wire back on. Hot surface igniter is going to come on. Gas is available, so this thing will light off. Hot surface igniter has lit, warmed up. Burners on, burners lit, burners proof. The last part of this cycle is turning on the fan motor. Now you've got to set delay on these things. Depending on the furnace, it could be 30 seconds or 45 seconds. It's waiting for the heat exchanger to warm up. Okay, the fan is on and is blowing air through the structure. That's the complete sequence of operation of the IFC control board. Now, upon shutdown, what does this thing do? I'm going to disconnect the uh, call for heat. Okay, now the fan is continuing to run. What it's doing now, it is pulling all the heat off of the heat exchanger and getting the heat exchanger cooled down. Now there's no sensor in this thing to sense the temperature of the heat exchanger. There is only a time delay. And I'll show you where the time delay is. Okay, what we're gonna show next is the time delay for the uh, blower to shut off. Now, I told you you had a fixed time delay before the fan came on when the burners came on. That's fixed, you can't change it. The time delay on the off of the blower is adjustable. The reason it's adjustable is you don't know what duct work, how restrictive it is or whatever, this furnace is going to be hooked up to. So more restrictive duct work may take a longer uh, purge time to, uh, to cool off the heat exchanger and less restrictive will take less time. So what we're looking at here is a set of dip switches. Now you see those dip switches there is off and on and so on. And then over to the right low you can see a key and it gives you the different get this wire out of the way maybe you can see that a little better and it'll give you the time delay for the different settings of the dip switches you can go from 90 seconds to 180 seconds on this thing um, to match it to the ductwork okay that pretty much completes the sequencing of the single stage 
integrated furnace control. I'll probably do one on two stage here uh, sometime in the future. If you know the sequence, you know what's supposed to happen with this thing, you can find problems that have arisen uh, with the system. Remember one thing, this board gets replaced a lot and oftentimes is not the problem. It is controlled by sensors. The sensors tell it what's going on. It makes a decision on whether the flame should come on or not. So look to your sensors. Uh, I'm going to reference a number of videos throughout these, uh, this series that have gone a little deeper into troubleshooting and so on like that. Anyway, that is the last in the series of the sequence of the integrated furnace controls.